Hello, Miles and Martha Loss, your local real estate experts. I've seen the appraisal waiver come up in two different ways on a real estate transaction. One's legit, another one, well, I'll get to that. The first one is when you have the property information, the contract, and all the bar information, it goes into a system called automated underwriting. And the buyer is very strong. They've got a very large down payment, high credit scores, a lot of money in the bank. And it comes back with the decision that includes an appraisal waiver. When that's done, you don't need to do an appraisal. We'd love to see that, but that can't be promised, guaranteed, or necessarily predicted. The second situation involves the real estate contract. And I'm not a real estate attorney, so if you have a question interpreting the contract, please contact a real estate attorney. So the contracts between the buyer and the seller, the lender is not a party to that contract. That's the first thing. The second thing is the lender requires an appraisal. Unless they have an appraisal waiver, which you don't know until after you're into the transaction, they need an appraisal. The buyer, they can't call up the lender and say, hey, I don't want an appraisal. I want you to waive the appraisal. Don't do an appraisal. They can't do that. They don't have control over that. It's not their call. The other thing is what we're looking at here is the appraisal gap. That's what's important. So you've got the praise value, the purchase price, and the buyer's willingness and ability to cover that gap and how much of it are they willing to cover and putting that in the contract and making sure that's covered. That's the important point. If you have any questions or need to buy or sell real estate, reach at the number below. Don't leave a comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel.